Like, I would hate, I would hate to have gotten pregnant by the second one and then just him being a dub. Child, you running me that, like, that, um, what's it called? That child support. You running me that child support. My nigga, like, you can't even be my sneaky link. Like, you not even, like, come on out. Can you hold my hands and be my guy? this video i'm wearing the same thing because i'm recording two videos in one day i am making this video because i feel like a lot of trans girls or even women settle period but i'm going to be specifically speaking about trans girls settling because that's the only perspective i can speak from as a trans girl child i don't want to get into talking about boys because baby boys are another thing like i posted about it on my channel already but it's like dudes are so weird i feel like okay i feel like this is i'm gonna say this but it's gonna be sound so weird i feel like in the beginning of my transition i was pulling more men i feel like i get more men's attention now but i feel like i was pulling more men in the beginning of my transition because i feel like i don't know 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 i feel like now it's like am i intimidating or is it like I wasn't that girl before and y'all felt like y'all could easily just do whatever y'all wanted to her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like now I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm still pulling, but it's like, I'm not pulling the way I was pulling before. Like, before I used to pull meat and potatoes out the, I used to pull carrots out the motherfucking ground, ho. Like, now I'm like pulling, but it's like, when you know your worth, though, that's too, too. When you know your worth and when you're transitioning, when you know you're that girl up, men will like like they're going to back off quick like when you start talking to these men like how do you, they're supposed to be dealt with when you start dealing with them like how they're supposed to be dealt with child they can't take it and they call you all types of child just you gotta have strength to transition you gotta have strength to do everything you gotta have strength to live in this world child like it's difficult but you gotta do it for yourself, guy. I feel like a lot of trans girls settle. I can give you my own personal experiences, which is, you know, it's the only thing I can speak from. I feel like a lot of trans girls settle because they feel like they're never gonna find someone who is going to genuinely love them or even be proud to be seen with them be in their like truest, rawest form because of who they started out as. I know for me, I was talking to guys just purely based on like how they made me feel. And in the moment, I feel like it was like, okay, yes, this guy is making me feel good, but like I'm still settling because he's not what I want. I have two experiences I'm going to be speaking on. One of them is I was talking to this guy for seven months and I hated every minute of it because I felt like I thought we were just chilling. I thought we were just cooling. But I don't know. We just started moving faster. And he was trying, he was talking about, oh, I can, I could, I would dead cuff you, this and that. But you're not trying to be cuffed right now. And I just, I feel like he used to make me, he used to try and make me feel bad. Now, granted, this guy was a narcissist and a Leo. And Scorpios and Leos do not get along. I don't even do all that horoscope stuff, but Scorpios and Leos do not get along. And I regret it. Like, thinking about it makes my skin crawl. Like, how long I dealt with him. Like, oh, child. Me, 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 not asking any of my friends for any, like, input or nothing. I would have dead cut him off the minute I started talking to him and found out he was that way. Like, ew, I would have got the instant ick. But I was trying to be different just based off of, like, how he, like, was seeing me as like the trans as the girl that I always was like he made me feel real like we used to go out on dates we used to go everywhere I remember I seen his I met his roommate but like you know he don't know um but like I just felt extremely real in the situation um I just felt like I was always playing the girl role I was playing the girl role that I was supposed to be playing from the start of this play I always just felt like never comfortable enough to share who I was because I was always getting 
shut down like I would say things and I'm trying to like express things make jokes be this be that like because my whole thing like my whole persona is just being the humor the um light the um jokes like that's me like all of those things make up who I am and I just feel like if I can't express myself in the way that I want to I just feel shut down like I feel like I'm being pushed into a shell and that's exactly how that person made me feel. Like, I just felt like I really couldn't be myself. Like, I would say things and he would be like, oh, there's a time and place for these things. And I'd be like, these, this is not that serious of a situation for you to be like, oh, like, there's a time and place. And I'm like, first of all, why are you talking to me like you're my dad? Yuck. I should have listened to this other girl who was trying to warn me about him. But I just was feeling too real at the time to even be, like, doing a most. Come to find out, this girl ended up actually talking shit. Oh, I'm in a black household. Shit. <laughs> Come to find out, this girl was actually talking shit about me to him to try and get him back, which is like a whole other story. But, you know, I'm not really going to get into that. But, you know. <laughs> Tea. With him, like, ugh. Like, and it was just like, I remember one time, like, we we're supposed to link up and I was getting off the train because I don't drive. I was getting off the train. He was going to come and pick me up. And there was this guy that was acting really weird, right? And I was going to tell him, I was like, yo, there's this guy. And he was like, how about we just save it for when we meet up? Instantly, I said, I was going to hang up on him and go back home. But I'm like, I'm already here. He's pulling up, da da da. But like, I'm just so like, ugh, about these kind of things. Like when, I, then when he finally pulls up, I'm like so turned off. He was so like militant about everything that he did. It was like kind of gross to me. Like we were baking brownies one time, and he literally had to pull out a measuring tape just to measure the um. Because he didn't have a, a pan for the brownies. So he wanted to pull out this measuring tape to measure some other thing. I'm like, this is not that serious. Just put the damn batter in the bowl and throw the thing in the oven. Like, come on now. Like, everything he did had to be so by the books. It was like, I'm like more of like a free spirit. And he just had to like, there had to be a strategy for everything he did. And it's just, if you want to live your life that way, cool. But I'm not, I'm not the type of person that needs to be like... <laughs> <laughs> like he it just it dealing with him was just so draining like I could not do it we would argue all the time like I feel like we would have a regular conversation and then like we would I would say one thing and he would be like just it ugh, it just would turn into arguments and I'm just like you're not even my boyfriend and you're stressing me out like this I hate it here like I hate up my mouth like literally I would hate up my mouth and speak to him because he would be like Oh, like, you're not, like... Like, his thing was, like, words of affirmation, and mine was not. Like, I'm not used to speaking like this. And he's like, you're not, like, expressing yourself, this and that. And I'm like, I just feel so much pressure to be a part of this situation that I thought we was just chilling in. Like, I feel like I'm being, like, pulled into a situation that I don't want to be a part of. I, like, this boy was so aggravating. Him being a Leo and a narcissist would not allow him to be cut off easily. Like, when I cut him off, he pulls up to my house. He pulls up to my job on two different occasions. Boogie, like, and he was messaging me all, on all these apps, different numbers. And I'm just like, all right, you got to chill because it's like, if I'm done, if I'm cool off of you and you're not taking no for an answer, there's something wrong in your head. Like, what's going on? You pulling up to getting me in trouble? Like, what are you doing? Like, and mind you, he's older than me. I'm 24. At the time, he was 27. Now he's 28. That's like a freaking toddler. Like he, if he didn't get his way, asshole. Like if I brought a problem forth, he would just explain to me or tell me why I'm wrong in this situation when I'm feeling some type of way about what he did. And me, child, I'm so quick to just give you the silent treatment and just keep it pushing. And he hated it. He's talking about, oh, it triggers my abandonment issues. Child, I don't care. I'm sorry. You're not my boyfriend. I don't want to be with you. We were just chilling. We don't have any labels. And I told you that multiple times. Multiple times. And you know what? That's all the attention I'm going to give him. Because I don't know if he's going to watch this shit or whatever. But I don't really care. Shit, he's up my mouth. But, but he made me feel real.
<laughs> that's such a dumb thing to even like have me say in a situation that I don't want to be a part of anymore. But anyways, on to the next person on the ballot. I had been dealing with this guy for three years on and off. Um, but I should have cut him off from the first year because um, that boy was a waste of time because he would say things and like make me like he was selling me a fantasy down like um he would tell me oh he oh he would like bring me home to his family this and that like oh he would cuff me in a second like he told me he wanted me to be his girlfriend this and that and while saying this he would be doing dumb stuff like not texting back or disappearing for days and like get mad at me if I'm talking to other guys and it's like you're not even putting forth the energy the like anything to even like be qualified to even be my nigga like you can't even be my sneaky link like you're not even like come on out and while I'm editing this video on Tuesday March 14th He's messaging me on TikTok talking about all oh, my DMs are waiting. What? Like, I don't understand. I was just kind of dealing with it because he was the guy that I wanted to be with. He was like the exact kind of guy that I liked. But thinking about it in that situation, the kind of guys that I like are not the kind of guys that trans girls end up with if you are getting what I'm putting down. Because those kinds of guys are usually the ones who are kind of perpetuating hate and like i guess like doing the most violence towards us like um i don't know like i just feel like i will outgrow um being a part of these situations or dealing with these kinds of guys soon but it's just they just bring a thrill because i feel like they're just they are the opposite of who i am because i am a white suburban girl who read your bible and they are just such like, <laughs> they are just such like masculine, like, I, I'm just gonna, I like hood dudes, like, and they just would bring an energy that I just feel like is so natural to me. Like, it would just make me feel like such a girly girl and like such a soft girl. Like, I just feel like when I allowed myself to be soft and allow them to come in, way easier than the guy who was a narcissist and open to everything and more consistent like i just felt like it was more natural for me to deal with these guys when they were just playing a fantasy like and i wasn't even like we weren't even doing much we were dealing with each other for so long like we only like got down and did adult things like a couple of times like what like maybe five times so it's like we're not even like i don't know I do know, actually. I know I got him hooked that first time I put the on him. So it was like, I get it. But it's like, you're wasting my time. Like, I had blocked him so many times. And it was just like, me falling into the trap again and again and again. Him begging me, telling me he missed me, this and that. It's just like, not worth it in the end. Because you're selling me a fantasy when I buy the fantasy. I'm getting scammed. Like, that's what that's what I'm going to say. Like, he scammed me. He scammed me for a fantasy down. Like, I hate guys that are like this because it's like, they'll be the perfect guy in theory or in your head in the moment. Like, but then waste your time so bad that, like, you want to end up punching them in the goddamn mouth. Shit. This guy specifically, there are girls out there who not even just trans girls there are girls out there who are biologically female and they deal with guys like these as well and they're just like a waste of time down like these are the guys that are running through the mud like they just be saying one thing doing another thing and it's like thank god like i don't be busting open like getting like pregnant by these boys and then them just being a mess like i would hate i would hate so I've gotten pregnant by the second one and then just him being a dub. Child, you running me that like that um what's it called? That child support. You running me that child support. Child. You running me that child support. Give me my money. I just feel like as a trans girl, you need to know your worth. But at the same time, when you know your worth, there are just less guys that are going to be on your phone. Okay? Your phone gonna be real dry. 
when you know that word. Every, I feel like every girl knows that because it's like, when you expect a certain thing, when you expect certain things from guys and if they can't even meet those like standards, like you're quick to be like, it, like toss them to the side. Sometimes it's not so easy, especially when you're a beginner, like trans girl, you're just excited to get that attention or do certain things just to get attention or have attention from these men when in actuality it's like they're wasting your time and you don't see the patterns and you get used to the patterns and you get stuck and like you're like oh my man my man who's not really your man who's just wasting your time and leading you on when in actuality he has no plans of actually being with you you gotta see the signs early and clip their wings it's gonna hurt because you know you kind of have to get to that point on your own i i know it took me three years but just one guy but I'm like literally so over it. It's like the same thing every single time and you're not even putting in any energy when you say you about to be different. Like I see, like I literally see the shit. I see the signs. Like I see, like I can tell. Like you don't put any energy into your I miss you or this and that. Like you're not putting in any effort. The most effort you put in is, oh, I miss you. Hey, where are you? Why are you texting me back? Like, you're not saying anything. Like, you just want my attention. Guys just love the fact that they have access to you when they actually want nothing from you. They just literally want to waste your time. And that's what I've learned. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's, like, something you have to go through on your own. No matter how much someone can, like, preach it to you, you just have to see that for yourself so you can move along. Okay. But, yeah. That is all I have for this video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Um, and I will be back with more videos, you guys. Bye. You see the hurt behind my ass, shit. <laughs>